I absolutely love teaching reading. There's nothing more magical than watching a child unlock that code that's on the page for the first time. And all of a sudden they're reading everything all around them and pointing, pointing things out to you. And to know that you were part of that process is really the most magical thing in the world. There's a couple of ways that teachers can help struggling readers to um, feel good about what they're doing. And so one of, those, one of those ways is to begin when you're working with a kid by telling them what they're doing that's really good, as a, what they're doing well as a reader. And so after meeting with a child and you hear them read to you, you're going to be able to hear some things that they're already doing. And it's important to point those out, so that they know, hey, you're already doing this. Keep it up. Keep up the good work and then to build on those strengths. And so to say, okay, you're already doing this really well, let's now use the way that you're reading the word, these you know, one syllable words to help you by putting it together with another one syllable word. And look, now you can read a two syllable word. Um, so that's one way as a teacher that you can help children. Another way is by making sure that children are reading books that are at their reading level. And so you want to make sure that when they're reading books on their own, that it's a book that they can read fluently and that they can understand. And so it's really important that the classroom libraries are filled with books of all different levels and that kids know where to go to find books that they are going to be comfortable reading. We use the analogy that reading a book that's too hard is like riding a bike that's uphill. And so it's like you're constantly trying so hard. Um, and then reading a book that's too easy is like you're going downhill and you're going too fast. And so we like to think about reading a just right book as when you're reading a book, uh, when you're going bike riding and you're going level. And there's maybe a couple little hills and a couple of little downhills, but you're really comfortable with that, that reading level.